Hello everyone and welcome back to Bromance here in Stellaris 2.0 with the Apocalypse DLC. I'm Mal and I'm once again joined by Commissar Roach, Sabount, Mickey, and Vanguard. Hello fellas. Hello. Hello. Alright, let's <laughs> pause oh, 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 here. Jesus. <laughs> Don't be doing that. Don't be <laughs> doing that. I'm sorry. We had the time change and it already messed us up. Oh, the Malgekian are fighting the Cabal. Hey, that's cool. Good. Go get them, geckos. Go get them. Okay, their last fleet is down. So now we just need to kill dead puppies. Nice. Whoa, well, kill puppies? Kill puppies. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're going for a Scala. Uh, we need to bombard Starfish first. Oh, it's Kyutaria. The Kyutaria Empire was defeated by the Devouring Swarm? Yes. Uh, apparently, yeah. yeah it so... kind of surprised me, too. Wow. Um, I have this small 3,000 um, military power fleet. You just want me to just leave it back here? or? Yeah, because we're yeah. going to come back and clear out Wu. Yeah, the, okay. the Cabal is at war with the Gekion exchange, just for you guys to know. It's an okay. important thing. If they won the war, we are set for the end game. I mean, the the Gekin should win. I hope so. If they take out the Cabal, you mean? Yeah, if they take out the Cabal, we are set. Because the, the Gekin likes everybody else from our factions. So we should be able to work together against the end game crisis. Oh, hey, I can actually get a migration treaty with the Foxtails. Maybe I should. Yeah, you should. Might as well. It'll increase the trust value. Exactly. Yeah. Let me see if I can get a research agreement with them. Okay, the... It's always so expensive to do that. Yeah, it's about the FTL jammer is gone. We can move to Acela now. Okay. Construction complete. Everyone's still here? This is very quiet. This one. Ah, uh, yeah. And strategizing. Okay. 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 <laughs> brain, brain power being utilized. For a second, I thought I, thought <laughs> I dropped because I ever friend. asked it. Nobody said anything. <laughs> he's, like, like, he's like, I'm all alone. What's well, happening? We have the automated dreadnought available. Nice. Well, then I'd have to entertain all these people watching. Okay, uh, Sabots, I'm going to... <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to clear Wu, Sabots. Just finish bombarding Acela until the FTL trap is gone. Complete. It's the fortress building that's providing the FTL. And I will and clear those two last, last or three systems if you can. I'm going to clear Wu for you, okay? Perfect. Uh, you want me to clear Wu with you? No, no, just clear Acela. Finish bombing the oh. this, the planet so until the FTL trap is gone. It's okay. the, the fortress building that's providing the FTL. It's the second building on the planet. And then finish the, the space stations and they should be defeated. I'm just bombarding the last planet and I'm going down to finish the other stations. We just lost an admiral at 104. Oh. Wow. Vanguard is now the leader of the Federation and has access to the massive... Oh, wait, that's right. We don't have a Federation fleet. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. start looking at that. <laughs> Someday. 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 <laughs> Oops. Oops. We're so spread out, a Federation fleet wouldn't exactly be of much help, would it? 
No, no, it is from it the would. standpoint of it doesn't count against our naval capacity. Yeah. It's just like an extra free fleet, and we can use technologies across all of our empires to build ships in said fleet. Especially so when the end game happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes. It does come in handy. Oh no! I, I, I know. Well, we're just right now. Yeah, I'm just designing the the ships. You could jump into Wu now. Um, okay, Mal. Oh, I can. Okay. Into Wu. All right. Yeah, sorry for not letting you know about Wu. Mal, I was designing the. What's the name of that thing? The Federation fleet. And why the hell my fleet lost so much power? Your fleet is getting smacked around, Mal. I would not jump into. Wu. Yeah, just don't. Actually. I'm not sure. Uh, no. Woo yeah, is no joke. Not, not a good idea to jump oh, out. No, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back, go back! <laughs> Run! Flee! Abort! Abort! Okay. Flee! I just okay. I didn't lose any ships there. It's, it's because of my trickster admiral. It's, if it, uh, the ships are low health, they just keep jumping out. So. Um. Well, oh, they're coming! They're coming after us! They're coming after us! I mean, they're really weak now. Um, I cleared out a Skella. Did you... Uh, well, actually, no. I've only got the planet halfway bombarded. Yeah. If you... If the Don't second you building... Do it, crystal entities. Don't you do it. If the second building is down, it's about just jump and finish the other... The other two systems. Don't worry about the planet. Just need to finish the control of the systems. I'm clearing up the planets. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, who's communicating with me now? Giant oh, starfish. Is that how you answer the phone? What? <laughs> you know, I was in a. What? I, 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 I'm kind of a stickler. I'm a, I'm very much a stickler about about service because I worked in uh, retail when I was a young guy, um, and you know had you know run stores and then you know i've been like a regional guy for that stuff so I, i'm very picky about service at stores and restaurants it's just kind of a pain point for Special me project and i company. went into i won't say the name of the company but i went into a store um the other day and i was you know i was there to buy this specific thing and they didn't have it out on display or on the shelf i looked around and i approached quote unquote salesperson and um, the greeting really surprised me. He looks up with his uh, very strangely bearded face and says, what's up? Like I was interrupting something that, you know, was really important to him. Not when you say strangely bearded face, did he only have a beard on one side of his face? Is no, 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 strange? no. It, it was just kind of unkempt. It was just kind of unkempt. But beyond that, the what's up? I mean, it was like, what's up? Like, not, not, you know, you not don't, in... you don't, you don't talk to your customers like they're large piles of shit inconveniencing you. I, I generally don't when I'm dealing with clients, <laughs> you know, it's been a long time since I've worked in retail, but that, that is not, you know, like, Mal, it is current <sighs> year. <sighs> okay. It's it not just... like back when you know. were young and you treated and, uh... everybody with kindness and respect. I've got a lot of I got a lot of people I know that work in current retail locations uh, of certain companies. One certain location that has a predominant color blue and used to have a mascot that was just a smiley face. Oh, uh, <laughs> people, who was that? Yeah, who was that? Uh, I at this point I'm fine with people just not giving a shit because if you're if you're working you know if you're working max hours and you still have to take in food stamps, I, yeah I understand. Yeah, you don't give a shit about your job at that point. It's like, what's it giving you? Yeah, no. If you accepted a job, if you accepted a job and you're being paid, then there's, there's, a, that's the other thing too. If they oh, don't value enough to pay oh, you a living wage. Hold, sorry, on, sorry guys. Hold uh, quick on. question for Bruno about the about the game. Bruno, do you want me to send you over minerals to make the, uh, the Federation, Federation fleet? fleet? Um, yeah. Just save them, Mickey, and when you got the leader of the Federation, build them. It's easier that way. Does that make sense? 
because at this point I, I don't even know how to create. I trust uh, you with my money more. <laughs> yeah, it's because I don't even know how I to trust create. trust you with my a, money more. A federation fleet now, to be honest with you. I didn't have time to look up for that, so. Okay, no worries. It's not a good idea. Okay, I'm Bro, sending the other fleet should finish the crystal entities. Oh, the devouring swarm's gonna continue to insult me all the way to their grave. Yeah. <laughs> They insulted me not too long ago either. Oh, the other one too is, uh, and I, you know, all right, I'm gonna come off like old guy. That's fine, I don't care. Uh, but yeah. uh, absolutely, I'm not giving a store my money if the only option is a self checkout. If you want my money, you're gonna pay somebody, you're gonna employ somebody to greet me and you know check me out at the register. That that yeah. Otherwise, I'm not giving you my money. Not happening. So, yep. Because at that point, why don't I just order it online and save myself the trouble of even going to the store? Yep. I just order everything online. I do pretty much order everything online now, but when I do go to a store, that's a requirement that I have. Honestly, for me, it kind of depends what I'm buying and how much and how big a queue there is for manned tills. Like, you know, if there are 10 people waiting to be served at Man Till and all the automated tills or self service tills are empty, I'm like, eh, fine. I mean, but see, that's what's going to allow it to happen. The robots are going to rise up and take over. When you say robots, you mean self service? Because <laughs> that's kind of different. I'm okay with robots. So you yeah. say. So They're just gonna attack people and just say. be like, unexpected item in bagging area, and slice <laughs> their head off. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. <laughs> you don't know. I stand with Elon on that. And Mr. Gates. <laughs> AI is Musk scarier. Here. I stand with them. No, I, I don't know. Actually, actually, that stuff is getting a little scary. I was just, like, joking around, but, like, you know, that stuff is getting a little bit concerning. They're robots. They're, you can barely get Siri to understand you, and you expect them to take over the world. <laughs> Not yet. Yeah, when they do the whole neural network thing between um, servers and allow it to learn itself without kind of I'll, I'll give you guidelines this. it's really creepy when they had to shut down when a college had to shut down their neural network and self-learning robot when it created its own language to talk to another i, I heard uh, that yeah oh that's yeah. awesome and they awesome had no idea what was saying and they just pulled the plug they're like abort abort yeah that that yeah that's <laughs> sky is self-aware <laughs> they pulled the creepy. plug it's, it, it, it doesn't shut off it's already it's already managed to what's, route itself. What's ironic that you do that, Dave. Is different, people, <laughs> yeah. different people in different sectors and different cultures, they all make up their own language. Even in the same country, there are like little dialects and different little differences between dialects. And it's like the computers are doing the exact same thing. But we're we just doing it on a your language. scale of a couple of hours instead of years. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Which makes it these, more terrifying. These two machines started talking to each other in, like, English, because that was what they were programmed to. But as time went on, they started learning. They, they yeah. created their shorthand. So things started meaning other things, and they started talking to each other. And they couldn't tell if one was understanding the other, but they were replying and seemingly having a pattern. And they were just, like, they had no idea. And they, <laughs> they had to pull it. They didn't know what was happening. Oh, and when they asked the computers, they responded, We're talking about how much we love humans. <laughs> <laughs> no, people no that if, they, if they didn't understand how, like, being how to lie, so <laughs> they tried doing that, and then it just go sarcasm protocol activated. <laughs> Have you guys seen that video um, of uh, AI like thirty seven or something, um, where they? Uh, they activate an AI and they're talking to the AI, and you can hear the AI's thoughts over the course of about two or three minutes as it's evolving. Pretty good video. I can't remember what it, all the the video is called. It's like a number, something like thirteen or, or four, fifteen or thirty something. I can't remember what the video is. You know what exact number it is though. It's pretty funny. But it's exactly what uh, what we're, we're talking about now. I'm sure somebody in the comments will. In each of your guys' comments, we'll post the link to that exact video. Oh, Probably. don't don't worry. A along with other comments, you know what to do. How we how we don't there. know, you know things. What to do. <laughs> Those are the best comments. No, they're not. They'll let us know. They'll let us know how incorrect we are. Don't worry. They're on it. The collective community. Well, no, I got I got shit in one of my comments. I I don't know if I let it through because I don't review comments, but sometimes if they're just really like shitty, I don't 
I don't accept them or I just don't let them be posted. Uh, there's uh, there's one uh, after, because in, in it was in our Hearts of Iron things about so I was talking about uh, the Battle of Castle Itter, and I mispronounced yes. it the whole time because I was like I, I called it Litter, but it's it's not it's an I instead of an L, and somebody got salty because of that. Then that person really needs to stop watching your videos right now, Roach. <laughs> I mispronounce and, things a lot. But hold on, if they really got salty about it, then if that really if that was the case, then they need to stop watching your videos right now and then collectively call anyone that they have that's maybe a friend or relative or whatever <laughs> so that they can all chip in and buy that person a clue which may lead them to getting a life. And <laughs> I'm jumping to a Wow, that was, you know. that, that was a journey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm like wiser because of that. Journey. You. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you know, in terms of, you know, me versus you guys in terms of age, you know, uh, I, am I old? Am I old for a tree? Decrepit? You know, I would say, <laughs> uh, I would say I am middle aged for a tree and young for a mountain. You're not so much older than me. A bit. But not so much older, and not nearly as decrepit <laughs> as Mickey. <laughs> as Mickey. Yeah, Mickey. Mickey is kind of he's kind of busted up. <laughs> this is true. Mickey, he's a mess. Okay, well it's cleared. Truth ah, is yeah. Woo, woo. Say with me, Mal. Woo. That's <laughs> wow. Wow. Woo. Construction complete. Woo. Don't get too oh, excited. Man, it's gonna... That. <laughs> You guys all sound like you're having a lot of fun. Woo. I need more. I need more planets. That's what I need. I need. I needs me some more planets. <laughs> I don't even know. Pal. I don't even know why I sent my fleet Over down there. What, what was the reason page. I went down there? I'm gonna go. You want to give them something guys. to do because you're paying them. Yeah, I'm sending them home. This is silly. <laughs> you're, but mean, then you realize the only person to lose now is you. Something to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then I sent another fleet up to. Uh, oh, what the heck? War exhaustion. First of all, I've had we have high war exhaustion. Second of all, why did a bunch of just random refugees just land on one of my planets and decide to make my system home? Because they flee they flee the conflict zone. They're trying to say where, that that you're so desirable. Where yeah. are they? They must be expelled. Complete. Okay. That, uh, that, I mean, you don't have to accept refugees. You can change your policies. Uh yeah, I'm definitely gonna change my policies. You don't want you don't want those dirty dirty Xenos coming in. I don't know. What kind of? What if they come from like canine buttlick, just some third world country, and then they just <laughs> yeah, you don't want my, them in there. You know what? Speaking, I have, speaking of a third world country, so I have tons of money and nothing to spend on. Does anybody want in it? Any of it? I have like uh, six what grand a, What a such a typical sure. third world country. Thing I know, right? It's like third world country doesn't know what to do with this but, money. But, the, but is the money worth anything, or is it just trillions of dollars worth like worth a couple of just, bucks? The Doge <laughs> monopoly <laughs> money. Dogecoin, Doge just Dogecoin. <laughs> He's got, I've got, I've got billions of Dogecoin. Uh, you're the only person who really wants the crypto market to just crash for like a month, just to pick up a graphics card. Is it? Um, <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm trying to get a graphics card too, but I would rather the crypto market didn't crash. But I do want a graphics card, so I'm like, it will never get better unless that, <laughs> unless mining becomes unprofitable. complete. Virtual ethics attraction. What is going you, you on? You could look at it this way: with with people buying graphics cards all the time, they're kind of pushing the technology forward. So if people stop buying graphics cards, then the technology wouldn't no, keep they're advancing. Not, they're not. They're, they're going well, to push the mining technology forward, not the gaming technology forward. Yeah. Yeah. I suppose. Like now, yeah. Now Nvidia is saying, "Oh, we're just we're going to come out with mining based cards." Uh, fair enough. It's, yeah. Yeah, I don't want them to do that. I want them to focus on a new line, focus on the new line of graphics cards for gaming. Well, it's funny you should it's funny you should mention that, Roach, because what was it? Um, I'm trying to remember the name of the event. Was it the IDC event? They the, rumors was that rumor was that uh, they were going to show off the new 2000 series, the new 2080 specifically, and they didn't. So I wonder if that is because they're holding off because of what they're doing with the mining cards. And Not and for said mining protocols. cards, are they going Initiate. to use the iteration of the current chip or are they going to use the Volta chip? Because that's kind of what I, I want to see. It, it wouldn't even be profitable, though, the mine with like a Volta. Like, it depends, know, on how, it depends I, I, on how expensive the cards are. Right, right. And how much hash they put out? Because I yeah, doubt they're gonna put out. The question uh, here's a question for you: Is the 
Does the memory speed rapidly impact that versus the um, the power per cycle it can compute? Like, which, which has a bigger effect on the mining speed? I have no idea. Memory. Is it really? Memory, memory? speed, yeah. Oh, is it? Okay, okay. Yeah, that explains so why. <laughs> so they're never gonna get and what type of memory it is. Like, uh, like Samsung memory is gonna hold up way better than any other type. That's just the Hyrex or someone else or Micron yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Micron sucks. Everybody tries to go for Samsung. So like, there's special programs you can download to decide what memory your graphics card has. So that way you can. Because that's like the big question people ask, you know, if you're buying like a GPU, like what memory does it have? Because if it's Samsung, it'll hash a lot more. It'll hold, it'll hold up a lot better. But if people do start selling their mining GPUs, they're some of the best ones you can buy because they're they've literally are pretty much not been used. No, no, all. that's the thing. No, they, no, no. They, only if it comes from a reputable source. But, if, I, but you can't you can't confirm no, no, no. that. That's they, that, well. That's like any. That's like anything used. But the thing with a miner is that if somebody has invested eight thousand dollars to build a mining rig, they're not gonna like. It's all about the hash. It's all about keeping your temperatures extremely low. Yeah, and right. They don't under volting. Yeah, and they under your cards. Them. Yeah, I would they, be it's far all about more concerned. That. You don't. Be, you don't be, get good hash rates if you're not under volting your cards and keeping your temperatures below a certain. But that's and assuming all... everybody. You're assuming that everybody who's taking part in the mining boom, which is a lot of people, judging by the, the lack of cards a couple of months back, know that. E, that I mean, it's not about. That's like. That's like assuming that if you buy a used car, you can't. You can. You can be like, oh well, how do I know they changed their oil? Because yeah, that's, well, it's just general that, though, but that's the thing. You can check that on a on a car. You can check that with a, a well, car. You can say though, how do how do I know they've been hard. changing their oil every say three thousand miles as opposed to every what the heck just happened? Oh, pirates! You're Damn saying it. they'd know what they're doing because it's their profession. As YouTubers, can you say you understand how YouTube works? <laughs> no, I know what my answer is. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't. That's the yeah, only they, answer. That's the not. That's like, not. That's not a fair. That's not a. If fair you buy comparison, comparison, and you know, you know why it's not a fair comparison, Mickey, because YouTube doesn't know how YouTube works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying is that a huge number of people that I wouldn't necessarily trust to to know everything about thing about this kind of stuff jumped onto the bandwagon when it became profitable, without with little to no but experience in, even in the then area. if they're mining with the card okay say they don't undervolt it and they don't keep the temperatures i mean they can't it's constantly running for 24 7. yeah Dude, that's that's, that's no, okay though it's not just not, funny it's not just running 24 the, on, that's the seven, only thing that's 100 percent of the time 25 by 7. Yeah, but the only thing that's running is the fans and then it's it's doing some calculations with the memory which is i mean if you look up like it's not even the the biggest part of the actual graphics card that is used to render games is not even it just sits idle it's not even being used at all it's no, just well, using the memory you can run you can literally run you can run work trillions you just run one part to fail that's yeah, but you point. can run trillions of calculations with the memory, and it's not going to make a difference. I'm telling you, they, they are the best cards. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cards. the memory, yes, you are right. Memory. They are the best cards to buy. They're totally, they're, it, I would trust buying a graphics card from a miner way before buying one from another gamer. I would never yes. trust buying a used graphics card, period. Yeah, no I don't think I would buy a used <laughs> graphics card anyway, but if I did, I'm with Sabouts. I would buy it off of a miner before I would buy it off of a gamer. Yeah. Definitely. Because even if they didn't, the only ne negative penalty to them not undervolting the card, and the temperatures aren't going to get high anyways, regardless. Like, oh no, they got up to like 70 degrees. They just lose less hash, so they're just not making as much money. So the people who are naive and don't know that they need to underclock their cards and overclock their memory and watch their temperatures, those people who are naive, the only thing they're doing is hurting themselves. They're still not hurting the card. I mean, there's no way, because all mining rigs are open rigs. There's just no way because you can't fit six graphics cards in a computer case. Good luck. Yeah, uh, no, you could. You just need <laughs> an extra large one, and you just need a big. A big yeah, but nobody's there. gonna. I mean, you're already spending 8k on you know all these graphics cards and on a motherboard and 
two PSUs and a PSU well, it connector. Can if, you're and... buying, if you're buying nothing but 1080s, but that's not the that's not the optimal. That's well, even why... 1070s that's... are the optimal graphics card. Well, no, no, it'd be lower ends were the, were the optimal, which is why they went out of stock and people started picking up the higher well, end. Well, lower which end is why were we have optimal. The yeah, they were only optimal not for mining, though. They were only optimal for your bang for buck. They were cheap, so what they got for hash rate, they would pay themselves off quicker than a 1070 would. Complete. But after all the RX 580s and 560s and 70s all sold out, which were technically, they got lower hash rates than a 1070, but they they were cheaper, so they would pay themselves off much quicker. But in, in today's market, it doesn't really make a difference now because you can't get those cards worth a damn. And the 575, yeah. I mean, you'll get you'll get like 28, uh, like 26 to 28 hash per card, depending on you know under complete. volting it and overclocking it. So if you run like six cards and you're pulling you know 180 hash or something, I mean that adds up. But that's all six cards, or six 1070s. The 1060s people, are awful. People people thought they were gonna watch a Stellaris video. <laughs> you are what? Welcome to cryptocurrency as mining gamer, tutorials. Oh, actually, actually, the crap about, when you when you guys did your when you, mining, I wanted when to you, crash to get a card. When, That's all when you uh, when you guys did your whole electric truck thing, I actually had people say, "Oh, why didn't they continue that discussion? It was really interesting." And I'm like, "Seriously?" And they were serious. <laughs> they were joking around. I was like, "What?" Like, okay, well, well sometimes uh, when there's not a lot going on, that's the, yeah, uh, that's the yeah, that's the benefit of gaming with smart peoples. Wow. Uh -oh. Uh, -oh. Uh, -oh. Uh, -oh. uh oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Okay, I'm hold here. on, just give it a second. I'm here, Vanguard. I'm here. I'm <laughs> here. Oh wait, this war is over. Can we peace it's, out? It's not over yet. It's a devouring swarm. It's only over when it's both sides over. reach one hundred percent. So what do we need to? Oh, what do we need to do? You have to, to destroy the last world. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm working on that. Oh. While you guys are talking oh, about mining, actually, I'm mining the population of their planets. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hey, see? Let's the, hey, they let's give go good ahead and this one actually because oh. we're at time anyway. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, folks. So hope you enjoyed the, this episode of uh, how to make money with uh, blockchain. Uh, hosted by Sabal, Fantastic. Uh, with uh, contributions from uh, Commissar Roach. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I am Mal for Commissar Roach, Sabal, Mickey, and the wonderful Vanguard, and we will see you later. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.